Hi hey guys, it's me again for the first of today's video. Sorry, it's a little late. Had a few things today as well. So yes, well, the first of today's videos is Gambia. As a, there's evidence of a sophisticated culture existing in Gambia that built stone circles around 500 AD. As shortly afterwards, a trade across the Sahara with Arabs later flourished. As a result, the trade powerful states were built in Western Africa and in the 13th century the Emperor Pyro of Mali grew up in the region. However, it went into decline in the 15th century and the people called the uh, Mandinka migrated to the Gambia, ri Gambia River. I Meanwhile, well, in the same 15th century, the Portuguese began to sail across along the coast of Africa. And by 1500, they'd built settlements on the Gambia River, River and slaves were in gold were being sent from there to Portugal. <coughs> in return, the Portuguese gave the Africans guns and cloth. However, the early 17th century, the English, French, Dutch, and Dutch were also, were also traded in West Africa, and by the 1650s, Dutch had been ousted and for 150 years afterwards huge profits were being made transporting slaves from Africa across the Atlantic however the British finally took control of Gambia and a colony was formed in 1886 half the Europeans divided Africa among themselves but the British weren't too interested as their contained little well and was surrounded by the French territory of Senegal as there was little attempt to kind of develop a colony in Gambia or build an infrastructure in it and finally in the early 1960s parts of Africa were becoming independent and Gambia became independent in 65 with David Jawara as its first Prime Minister and for the first 10 years of independence Gambia was a prosperous country as the price of ground nuts was high and tourists flocked to the country but in the late 70s the price of ground nuts fell and there were two attempted coups in Gambia in 1881 As Jawara survived both and won the elections of 82, 87 and 80 and 92. But the price of groundnuts fell for even further in the late 80s and the discontent grew in Gambia and finally in 1994 Jawara was also in a coup and Yaya Yamer became ruler of Gambia. In 1996, a new constitution was introduced in Gambia as Jammer won the pres presidential election, as he won a second presidential in election in 2001, and as of 2013, Gambia left the Commonwealth, and then in December 2016, Adama Barrow was elected president of Ghana. Yeah, as today it's still a poor country, but with a rising economy as tourism is starting to come back and yeah this population is about 2 million at the last count in like 2017 something like that has and most of the language spoken within Gambia belong to the Niger Congo language family of the Atlantic or Congo branches and there are at least 10 languages spoken in Gambia by various ethnic groups Apart from English, which is the official language spoken in schools and public offices, there's also Wolof, Sarasain, Sarahol, Pular, Manikakan, Manjak, Mandigo, Jolafoni, and Yakul's Creole, or Pigeon English. And uh, they're further broken into dialects such as Fana Fana of Salom and uh, so long for the Wolof speakers. And before the arrival of the English, European, Europeans, and all, none of the ethnic languages were written as they were purely oral. And most people are in fact multilingual and the 
majority speak their own tongue and a second language as well as English as Wolof represents the lingua franca for the west Combo area while Mandinka is a dominant in the upper river divisions and particularly in the Combas as they are interspersed with English, Arabic and or French words or phrases then there's what's known as Gamblish which is Gambian English refers to Gambian expressions that sounds odd to a native English speaker's ear as a result of translations of native like tongues that are more local to Gambia as examples include finished I'm coming when leaving and I'm having two dar see and moves with so yeah it's so like then there's Ninki Nanka, which is easy to say as Ninki Nanka is a monster that lives in the Gambia River in within Gambia. It's a dragon like creature with a body of a crocodile and the head of a horse with horns. And it has a long neck like a giraffe and is said to be fifty to thirty to fifty feet long. And an expedition in two thousand six shielded an object said to be in the sky be a scale from the monster, but it turned out to be non-biological, possibly a piece of celluloid film. So yeah, that is Gambia for you, and I'll see you shortly, soon. Bye for now.